infant would be delivered, uh, the infant would be kept comfortable, and then a discussion would ensue between the physicians and the mother. So Ambassador for the Culture really of Death, Virginia out. Governor Ralph Northam, signed an extreme abortion bill into law on Good Friday. The Virginia bishops, Michael Burbage of Arlington and Barry Nestout of Richmond, immediately decried Northam's action. Noting the particularly offensive timing, the bishop said in a statement, quote, that he would take this action on Good Friday, one of the most solemn days for Christians, is a particular affront to all who profess the gospel of life, end quote. Northam, a white male who made headlines in February 2019 for his racist yearbook photo showing one man dressed in blackface and another as a KKK member, boasted, quote, no more will legislators in Richmond, most of whom are men, be telling women what they should and should not be doing with their bodies. The Reproductive Health Protection Act will make women and families safer, and I'm proud to sign it into law, end quote. The new law removes regulations for those seeking to terminate their children, meaning someone other than a physician can abort their children in the first trimester without an ultrasound at least 24 hours beforehand and without obtaining counseling on options outside of abortion. After politicians decided the fate of an incalculable number of preborn children, Virginia House Majority Leader Sharnalee Herring, who supported the legislation, said, quote, Virginia women deserve access to health care free from interference from politicians, end quote. The law goes into effect on July 1st, three days before the United States celebrates its independence, in which the nation recalls that all are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, such as life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. J.P. Severini, Church Militant, Detroit.